Well, hey everybody and welcome back to the dojo. We're dojo! getting medalists fought today. <laughs> it's the Metal Hell Singer. Hell Singer. I'm Jeff. I'm Amanda. Uh, man, I hear that you're a fan of uh, of the metal. I'm a fan of the heavy metal. Like uh, like bronze. Yeah. Like, like uh, iron. I, you know, uh, uh, swords. Yeah. Uh, daggers. Yeah. All kinds of Damascus metal. Damascus steel. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to play this game. I think I remember playing this before, and I think this is going to be a total shit show, Amanda. Oh, nice. Uh, because I think that this is the game where it's like you have to like... Um, you have to like hit the button to the beat. Yeah. Oh, good. You have great rhythm, Jeff. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, and it especially doesn't work when I'm like trying to talk into the microphone. Yeah. Yes. Uh, run the calibration. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like skip the calibration. What what sound? Boop. That one. The high one. Is that what they look for? I think are you, so. Are you asking me? I don't know. I don't know what the. I don't play guitar here. What's the delay on my friggin' TV? That's going to be so funny if you calibrate wrong and you're just like, I don't know why I'm this bad at it. Oh, come on, Amanda. You know that's every every fucking video on Rage Slay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the, the controller. It's the controller. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, this is the most. Yeah. Zero seconds. Great. Cool. No, no, stop. S -s fucking, oh, visual calibration. Oh, shit, that's different? When the indicators flash. Uh, 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 uh. My brain doesn't work that way. You're going to have to calibrate my mind. <laughs> calibrate your mind. They calibrated my mind. Sure, 117 milliseconds. Whatever, man. Uh yeah, finish. No, yeah, yeah, that yeah, sounds yeah, good. Okay, yeah, go I for feel it. Really good about it. Select your difficulty: goat, lamb, lamb. or beast. Uh, I'm gonna go with goat. Uh, greatest of all time, baby. Uh, I'm, I'm a I'm a goat guy. <sighs> Black Philip. <laughs> was, yeah. Okay, Do you sure. want to live deliciously? <laughs> sure. That's pretty metal. Sit her down. What? What the fuck, Sam Elliott? What are you doing in here? <laughs> like, what are, you <laughs> are you Satan? <laughs> We're out in California. There was a guy <laughs> called the Dude. Way south, you know. There Hell. Was a, there was a, what was that thing I, I read one time where, like, the uh, the Code Brothers said that they loved Sam Elliott because they could literally dub anything over him because of his big fucking mustache. You, like, you didn't even have to match up <laughs> his voice. That's amazing. I didn't even think about that. Wow. Oh, it's a lady demon. I didn't even realize that. All right. They just called her. <laughs> <laughs> they just Usually. called her <laughs> Big Titty Bertha. <laughs> Everyone watch out. It's Big Titty Bertha. Oh, my God. <laughs> Take cover. <laughs> Them titties are coming for you. <laughs> She's got great rhythm and huge titties. <laughs> she does not have huge titties. She does not have huge She's titties. Yes, that's not even. That's true. We played a lot of games with a lot of big We movies. just assumed <laughs> that titties would happen. This is a video game, right? Isn't that law that yeah. they have to have giant knockers? Like... She has just like normal sized boobs, so we naturally assume she was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the internet, you know. That the devil? I'll He's real give her the looking. capital D. <laughs> oh boy! Uh huh. Fucking judges. <laughs> Fucking unbreakable magics. Oh, God. Sorry, I thought this was America. <laughs> How long? <laughs> Sit. Arr. Her eyes turn into Arr. little teethy mouths. See, the thing is, just because the unknown. There's a lot of exposition. Who? How did you find out this story, guy? He's the one telling it. He, he broke her out. Just because Judge stole her voice. Oh, no. Oh. I'm, okay, so got a little mermaid in hell situation going be on. be where the people are, <laughs> take their souls, and wreak some havoc. Yeah, there you go. Boom. All right. Oh, boy, it's Michael Stain from Dark Tranquility <laughs> with music by Two Feathers. Two whole feathers. Two feathers. What, what the what the, what? hell What's am I looking at? <laughs> it's appeared to be some invisible dudes. Like a storm coming. Uh-huh. Huh? Boy, this is totally going to get copyright struck, isn't it? 
all the music in this game is like actual metal music. Oh. And you know that those guys are just going to be Hell like, yeah. it belongs to me. I get all your revenue. I'm like, ha ha. Joke's on you. <laughs> <laughs> Rage Select is Do a very it. small channel. <laughs> Take my revenue, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so yeah, if there's... You a... enjoy those 43 cents, baby. <laughs> 43 cents? Come on. <laughs> Look, I was being optimistic. Uh, press A to jump. Okay. Perfect. I would have never thought. Ooh, double jumps. Uh, yeah, wings. Marionettes. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. I'm trying to do it on the beat, but yeah, I don't know if I was it was hard. It's too hard. Jim, Jim. Oh, it's like every other beat. Are you are you dead? Wait. Okay, I don't <laughs> This is gonna be a real fucking Yeah, this is gonna be great, because you're standing too far away. There you go. Good. You gotta get up before, before attacks the beat. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, hold on. Do, do, do. Okay, I don't care. No, that uh, worked. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. Take yeah, that. I'm feeling you... really good about it. Maybe this will feel more fun when they start attacking you. <laughs> or maybe it'll be better when, like, uh, oh, glowing beasts are vulnerable. Oh shit. Is this some is this some doom shit? You didn't know? Oh, I didn't know it was some doom shit. Yeah, I didn't know we had some doom shit. Sean was telling me about it, and he's like, "It's like doom, but on the beat." And I'm like, "Uh oh." <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like it's gonna be really frustrating for anybody watching this video. Uh, you know uh, the beat. The beat. I don't know the beat. I don't feel the beat. I'm not a go-go. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a beat. <laughs> I'm a drummer. Okay. A I don't know anything white... about rhythm or beats. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not true. I could probably play this, but we need to, like, concentrate on yeah, it, I'd right? Yeah, I'd have to not make with the funny. Yeah. It sounds like and this is me making it, like making with the funny, so. <laughs> Where are you going? Come this back. Just, this just seems like another corner of the hell from the Doom universe. Yeah. She, uh, like, she's just doing her own shit somewhere else. Is that what happens at the very end of the game is, like, you beat the last boss, kick open a door, the Doom Slayer is there, and, and he, he just, just slaughters first you. first person rips your face off. <laughs> And then you drop uh, loot for him, and that's it. Oh, no. Triangles. Or oh, all these spikes. Oh, venom? <laughs> oh, geez. Is it a venom? You got you to gotta tell me if we are venom. Oh, where's, where are you, Tom Hardy? What the Paz? hell? Paz can be used for keeping the fury up, even without the demons around. Hell, yes. Wait, you no, telling me I, that I have a what? shooty skull? Do, oh, okay, God, it really doesn't like. Okay, oh, all right. God, I hope John gets into this game because I can tell that I will fall asleep. So what happens is because I'm still not used to being like awake during the day like a human. Sure. Um, but now I have a nine to five instead of a 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, so I go to sleep before John does now, yeah. which is weird. And he plays video games. And lately, I've been falling asleep to Saints Row. Uh huh. But I'm hoping he gets into this because I think I can fall asleep easier to this. To the music. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you? Uh, are you a? Uh, Got to have some music to go to sleep. Person. I, I used to not, but Fury for some boost. reason oh, I. Oh, sixteen X. Oh, nice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ruin that. I'm gonna ruin that right away. Uh huh. Uh, oh. Oh. We oh. Got now lyrics. we get the vocals. Yeah. Oh, yeah, enjoy that until we talk over it and then I <laughs> ruin it. Um, I used to hate Where's sleeping the with the uh, noise, but John kind of broke me of that because he's a very, I'm going to put on a movie and then go to sleep kind yeah. of guy. And so I've just learned to live with it. And now I almost need it. Yeah. Uh, I need it as well, which uh, the last relationship that I was in, I was with a like, no, it must be absolutely 100% silent. Silence. And I was like, well, then I can't sleep yeah. <laughs> if that's the case. I think it's easier to go that way in the direction of uh, you can't sleep if the there's no sound to needing sound. Yeah. It's easier to start like getting used to hearing things and going to sleep than it is to make the entire world silent. Yeah. You'll know and there's always something like if you have a pet, then you're just listening to your dog fucking chew on their toe toes for a while. Yep. And that's a noise you don't want to hear. So just put on the TV and listen to uh, whatever you're Put that watching. All up. In our case, it's usually MST3K. 
I can't sleep until I hear some robots making fun of a movie. I used to have this thing where I, I would put on very specific movies to nap. I think I've talked about this a few times in the past. where uh, And, like, it was really weird because there would be, like, very specific movies. Yeah. So, like, one of them would be uh, The Chronicles of Riddick. Huh. Which just knocked me right out. Yeah. Like five minutes of Chronicles of Riddick. Vin Diesel's all up in there talking about Riddick and shit. And the fucking necromongers show up. And I'm just like, woo, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Off to dreamland. <laughs> yep. God, heaven forbid any of your friends or anyone you're cool. dating is like, you know what I really feel like watching? <laughs> Chronicles of Riddick. And you're like, yeah, put it on. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I never fall asleep during movies. Like if I haven't seen it, like, even if I'm watching a movie yeah. and I get sleepy, I will turn that movie off. Yeah instead of falling asleep in the middle of it. And I got to tell you, I, I mean, there's a lot of people in the world, right? So I don't know what the audience of Rage Select is right. But man, there is nothing in this world that is more demoralizing, even more demoralizing than the like, I'm going to check my phone shit. Yeah. Then when you try to show somebody that and you're with uh, a, a movie and then, yeah, and they fall asleep halfway through it. Yeah. And you're just, and you look over, you're just like, is this, oh my God. You're oh my God. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, John likes to fall asleep and then deny that he fell asleep. Oh, uh, do you have to do you give quizzes? <laughs> no, I just, I just like. Oh, right. Well, then who's the murderer? This is the dumbest part. He'll fucking sleep and snore. And then I'll be like, hey, you fell, you're falling asleep. And he'll be like, no, I'm not. I'm up. And I'm like, okay. So you're just watching a movie like. <laughs> oh, yeah. and it's like can I, please? Can I do my thing? Sir? Sir? No? Uh, what the fuck? Okay, great. Well, he disintegrated. Okay, cool. That's awkward. Uh, but, you know, I I do it. I fall asleep. I try not to fall asleep during movies. Usually I don't. But, like, Dune, first 15 minutes of Dune, I was <laughs> gone. I don't know what happened. No, there was sand. Yep. No, that, that movie you need to be, like, well caffeinated yeah. before you oh, start watching Dune. Oh, it doesn't help. Dune. So we watch movies. Oh, what is that? It, Oh, that'd be a god, baby. Persephone. What do you shoot pomegranate seeds? Um, Can I get my health back? Oh, there you there go. We go. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say about Dune. I'm sure it was really important. Oh, you fell asleep. Oh, no, it doesn't help that. Our projector, we watch on a projector, but it's in the bedroom. And oh, so yeah. it's on. Yeah, we're in bed watching the a fuck? movie. Give me my. No, I want that help. There we go. I don't know if uh, this is really working for me. Yeah, maybe Paz is the way to go. I like it better. I like the idea of just like struggling to stay on beat. Jeff, are you struggling to stay on beat? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my best, okay? I didn't know there was gonna be a test. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm just, I, it's so hard, like the, um, Okay, so the, the execution moves in uh, Doom yeah. are real, like, sticky. Like, if you're anywhere near when you hit the button for it, yeah. it'll just do it. And this... These feel like you have to be all up on these guys. Yeah. Oh, shit. I am going to die. And see, and yeah, also that are. it stops right away. Like, oh, okay. Resurrect. Oh, yeah. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> I don't yeah, give a shit. Don't worry. Woo. Oh, it should auto kill the guys that are in front of you. That's bullshit. You know, so, like, like there's hell spam. Okay, there we go. God, I miss going to live metal shows. I haven't been to one since like high school. Now I just go to ska shows, which are fun, but uh, kind of embarrassing to talk about. Really? Why? I don't know. All the skanking. You, you, know? don't, you don't want people to call you a dirty skank. <laughs> 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 That's what you're supposed to do at the ska yeah, show. Yeah, it's what you do. You skank. I uh, I don't know. It's uh, I work with a lot of young people, and uh, young people not into the ska. They're not into anything, first of all. But <laughs> they, uh, the youth, oh they're into God. nothing. They're, nothing. They're amazing, sweet women, and I love them, and I think they're great. Um, but like, they'll be. A little, what do you? What do you? What kind of music do you listen to? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, like ska, the stuff that you would listen to in the '90s, I guess. I don't know. Like, uh, like the Mighty the Boss Tones. Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Real Big Fish. Real Big Fish. Yeah. Less than Jake. You know, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. And they'll be like, uh, I'll ask you, what are you guys listening to? Listen to? And it's like Harry Styles and Bad Bunny, and that's it. Whoa, my God. And it's like, that's exciting. I mean, I just want more. 
<laughs> I went from a job where everyone had a lot of personalities yeah. to like, they, they all have personality. I'm not saying they don't have personality. I'm just saying that compared to what I was working with, are you yeah. lost? No, I'm just, I'm looking around. Are you lost, little boy? I'm not. I'm hey, not. I'm, I'm here we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> everyone seems really boring, is what I'm trying to say without being really mean about it. Um, I think because I worked with a lot of... <laughs> well, because you work with, like, older people now, right? No, like... I work with younger people now. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, but I work... So, I, and I, I think part of it is that I worked with my previous job that I just left. I worked no, with no, a lot no, of people no, that what are... What the fuck? Wow. You really do have to be up on them for that. I don't... There's some kind of weird thing that I'm missing about, like, where you have to be to do that. Maybe uh, on the beat. Oh, yeah. No. Um, I, I work with a lot of queer people uh -huh. and they were like all very socially queer. They were very um, over like they everyone shared everything yeah. like about their private Shit. lives and stuff. And it was like really cool. God damn. And everyone I work with now are all like very heteronormative and very like. Why can I? Oh, why can I do it? That's so weird. Like, I, I need to be able to do this to not die, fucking yeah. die. Yeah, like. Music now. There was still more to do. Okay, Resurrect. I don't know. Fucking. Uh, we get, to get yeah, a zero. <laughs> you get a zero. You get nothing. <laughs> um, I asked my coworkers, like, oh, what's the biggest age gap between you and, like, a guy that you've dated? Uh -huh. And, uh. Seriously. Yeah. It says, like, no. Uh, why? I don't know. I feel like I, I missed something in the tutorial, maybe. Everyone in the comments are, like, yelling the answer. I mean, I can't hear them, so. Yell louder. <laughs> uh, is there, let's see. Uh, controls. controls. It's just, like, slaughter. Dash. Oh, there's a dash button. I didn't know that. Terminus, primary weapon, secondary weapon. Toggle between paths and terminus. To get it, do you have to hit the... The R, the. You have to click in. Th that seems annoying. The right bumper. Wait, hold on. Uh, beat matching slaughter. When an enemy is severely damaged, the we can charge, change their outline to vivid orange. When the thing appears, then perform slaughter. Press on the beat. I guess it's got to be on the beat. Maybe that's why I'm just trying to like. Yeah, jam it. What's the thing that they were surrounding? Are you going to check that out after? Oh, I'm just going to get rid of these a, a holes first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart move. Uh, anyway, the exciting answer to uh, the biggest age gap was like a year. Between them? Yeah. They were like, oh, oh yeah, shit. I've never dated a guy that was more than a year older than me. And Oof. I was like, well, that's fun. Like, I'm, I'm glad y'all do that boy. Oh. oh, I see it. There's an indicator. Yeah. I, did, I wasn't doing oh, the indicator. Oh, okay. Not that indicator, but the big one. See that one? Yeah. That's okay, it. I That's see. where there I was missing. Go. Okay. Now we're cooking with Hellfire. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's. I'm not asking people to share their trauma with me as far as like, what's the biggest age gap? And they're like, well, I was seven. Like, no. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's just weird that I'm not getting. I get nothing. Like, I get nothing from them. They're all very uh, boring. There's no stories. Okay. All right. I love that okay. you got okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Still having a hard time internalizing the whole beat structure. Sometimes I play games barely with the sound turned on. Really? Yeah. Well, so it depends on the game. That's true. Yeah, like a lot of times when I'm playing like a really long game, it's like I'll be listening to a YouTube video or a podcast or something in the background. If it's not like a super dialogue heavy game. Yeah. So, like, if it was this, but this wasn't, you know, dependent on the beat and rhythm. Yeah. I guess you could do it without sound, though, because the lights indicate everything, too. Yeah, I think that would be harder. I mean, I, I, the, one of the problems that I have with kind of rhythmy games like this is that there's um, there's just so much. Um, oh, my God. Okay. Do you have to destroy that thing? For yeah, I, I might. Okay. Was that what you wanted? Tell me what you want, and then I'll do it. Those demons look like they're power sliding all the time. Oh, the marionettes? Yeah. 
I think I need to like try this thing out. No, no, no. Stop throwing your stupid shit at me. Oh, there, there we go. This would be better if it had the old gods of Asgard. Are you sure it doesn't? Yes, because the old gods of Asgard are from. Oh, the, right, from Control. From Control yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, Alan Wake. Okay, so can you imagine they... if this had Take Control in it? <laughs> take Control. I listen to that every single day before work. You know, uh, I have a, um, I have a, um, these guys that listen to this podcast. Guys that listen to, mm -hmm. uh, watch out for fireballs where they do stuff. And uh, I think that both them and like I think that when Jason played Control, both of both those that podcast them there was like this song is so fucking cheesy that like it ruined this whole sequence for me. And I was like, really? What? It just fucking like pumped me up. I was just like, yeah, boy, yeah. Get out of here. Don't uh, talk to me. You don't like old <laughs> gods of Asgard? Get out of my house. Uh, let's see. Where are we going? Where I'll get an old gods of go? Asgard tattoo. <laughs> just, I'll show you guys. I actually talked to John about possibly getting an old gods of Asgard tattoo. I can't do. That's a lot of remedy all at once, though. Like. What do you mean? Well, because I, I plan on getting a control oh, tattoo. Holy shit. Behemoth. My fucking nightmare just came out of us. <laughs> Is it? My sleep paralysis demon oh just came at us. Um, well, yeah, oh, I wait, want hold to... on. Oh, no, oh, shit. Oh, oh, there we go. Yay. That was nice. really, really easy. <laughs> that was nothing like the fucking spider jerks from... Uh, Spiders? I love them. From uh, uh, Doom Eternal. Doom well, we couldn't beat anything by the end of Doom Eternal. The yeah, we that gave DLC up on really the DLC. fucking yep. dicked us over. Well, fucking Satan shows up. <sighs> okay. No, but seriously, I want a control tattoo, and I want to... Which one? Which what t t tattoo? Oh well, control's a harder one. I, I'm thinking of getting um, Uncle Mr. Bones from the Threshold Kids. Uh -huh. Uh, because, of course... And uh, oh, holy oh, shit, these god. guys are uh, on your dick right. Well, yeah, on your oh my god, lady demon dick. I'm not a on your tits right now. <laughs> this is a female version of on your dick. <laughs> I on, guess on your puss. <laughs> <laughs> right up a clit. <laughs> Get off of my clit, demon. There's a clam jam going on. Oh jeez. <laughs> clam you know, jam. <laughs> Is that, not, is that not good? No, I never heard it. I never, never heard, heard it. I never heard about the clam jam. Yeah, it's like if there's a sausage party, <laughs> but the girl jam. version is the clam jam. Okay. Uh, the closest I, I have had to that were uh, the Parks and Rec uh, um, version, uh, lady version of Bros Before Hoes. Oh. Um, uh, uteruses Before, before Deuteruses. Deuteruses. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember any of the other ones. Yeah, I've, I've seen the scene, but I can't for the life of me remember any of them. God damn it. Kill him! Aiming and staying on the beat is not working for old Jeff. And time has come for old Jeff to say goodbye. Boom! How about that? Fuck you! Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Hey. They give you, like, a second chance. Like, a really quick second chance. But there's a lot of... So, I mean, this really is just doom. Yeah. Except that, like, I my brain doesn't... Uh, like, I don't tap my foot or anything when I play video games. And so I'm having to make, like, an effort to to even try to remain on the beat. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if there's... Um, like, this is definitely a you-can't-talk-while-you're-playing kind of game. But... Um, oh, fuck you! I wonder if there's just certain grouping of people that can't play this game at all. Do you remember how Jeff, or you're Jeff, do you remember how Corey used to play video games where he would like bounce all over the place? Yep. Like, fuck, there's fuck, no fuck. possible way oh he could do that and be on the beat. I refuse to believe it. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I think that this is for like a certain grouping of people, like I said, that like tap their foot along with like the, the thing. And stuff, yeah. Like this kind of involuntary thing where like, or people that play a game and like if there's a, if there's a real big, um, like sound component to it they like just unconsciously kind of go along with it but this is like it's so on front street oh god it's so on Ooh. front street that you have to yeah that like it would be nice if there was just like oh well there's a bonus if you do oh my god that took out like a shit yeah i was gonna say i think the thing is less that it's hard to kill them more that it gets you good and it's fast and it's spooky scary 
Fuck. Oh my god. Uh, is there a health thing anywhere left? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, oh, reload's imminent. Oh, Jesus, get out of there, boy, you move. Fuck. <laughs> Did I get my reload? Was it imminent? Oh no. Oh, boo. Yeah, I, I definitely think that this game is interesting and it's on Game Pass, so mm -hmm. like, no problems. But, uh, oh. Okay. As far as a cluster of. Wait, did I. Did I lose? They're like, you can't do any more. Oh, can you not? You ran out of quarters, my friend. Oh, boy. <laughs> Speed bonus negative. I still got a lot of stuff. Continue? I still did okay. What? Well, um. Vogue. <sighs> Is that the place where we were? Yeah. Oh, I guess so. Um, you can change your loadout. Oh, that's neat. Okay. I mean, this is. Okay. That's kind of cool got, like, that you can. Yeah, you can like. But wait, is there like a place where I can buy upgrades? That'd be nice. Like, is there like one of those bayonet? <laughs> I saw there was a. Um... Oh, we saw this already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is the yeah. beginning of the thing. Um, uh, there was a bayonetta uh, presentation after the Nintendo Direct mm -hmm. that talked about how there's a uh, an option for bayonetta three. There's like an item that you can equip that just like makes all combos, all moves, and all dodges the same button. So you can just can you just, just hammer on, on this one, one button, button and basically win. Who's, the, who wants that? Well, Bayonetta uh, famously also had a play one-handed mode. Oh, that's fair. Uh, so I, making it my one. My fucking god! My god, I'm not gonna die to the first eight guys. <laughs> uh, you might. They also don't. Oh my god! Oh, ah! oh no! Son of a bitch! Oh, oh and I lost a little bit of health. Cool, cool beans. It's fine, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't even care. Is that also a hurt people? Well, there's button? a health thing. What? Uh, this the dash. Does it also punch oh, people? Like, oh. Do I need to like? Did mm -hmm. I just? Did they tell me all this in the tu tutorial? And I was just busy talking about the Chronicles of Riddick or something? I like mean, maybe. Uh, we. I mean, you could always test it out. I don't think that did anything. Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh. Oh. No. Nope. Oh. Fuck. Oh. 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 My God. <laughs> uh, my favorite thing is watching him stare at you while that happens. Fine. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I need to try it on these little guys. Let's see. It doesn't seem like it. I don't know if it did. It's, again, it's really hard to tell, to be honest. I'm at the uh, sword. Where's the sword at? Okay. Oh, but that didn't really didn't give me any health back. Nope. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's keep keep moving out. Keep moving forward. Let's see if we can figure this one out. I don't know. The, I I think this might have been a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, the game looks really fun to me. Yeah. That like doomness is awesome. It's I, just not a great talking. video game. All the uh, flame go up in the beat, and <laughs> that's really distracting. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Let me take a second and just concentrate. Yeah. Wait. Nope. I, it's also possible that I might have calibrated wrong. Like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, we were talking about how it seems like uh, that uh, might have been. Uh. Nope. Remember when I told you it'd be hilarious if uh, you calibrated wrong and everything was all fucked? Yeah. Is that what happened? <laughs> I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that does. Oh. Oh, it freezes okay, them and then right. you can, then you can, you can shooty explode shoot them, them apparently. Yeah. Is there a is there a melee button or do I just have to use the sword? sword? No, that's definitely not there, what I mean. Melee sucks in this though. It looks like you have to be just on their like on their clam the whole time. Get up a clam! <laughs> yeah. Get away from my clam! <laughs> Trying to get to the jam! <laughs> uh, what's that? Um, oh, God. My brain is 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 just empty. Um, Same. That shut up and jam. Like, welcome to the to the jam. Welcome to the slam. Oh, God. Do you know Come what I'm talking about? Come on and slam! Right. Come on and clam. Come on and clam. <laughs> welcome to the jam. Ugh. 
That's there awesome. was a, you know, for some I, reason, now that sounds gross to me. We've said it too many times, so now I hate it. What? Just the <laughs> Just word like clam? clam and jam together. <laughs> Well, you know, it's like a clam jamboree, not, you know, <laughs> not, not like you took a clam and then, want, like, put it in a jar. I want a t-shirt that says clam jamboree. Clamboree? A clamboree. <laughs> Going to the clamboree. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Nope. Fuck you is my name. <laughs> Perfect. You know what? If there was a version of this, uh... It was just fucking like Paul Abdul songs. I would be oh my so God. fucking good at Straight it. Straight up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Ow, ow, ow. Man, I think Paul Abdul might have been like the, my first and maybe even only like celebrity where I was just like, God damn, is that a fucking hot woman? She like, is gorgeous. Like, even now, she's really gorgeous. Yep. Uh. Nope. Yeah, and her songs Fuck. are all fucking hits. I don't care what anyone says. Yep. So going back to my coworkers, we were talking about our first concerts, and I was like, oh, my first concert was Boys to Men and Montel Jordan. Uh huh. And. Isn't that a daytime talk show host? Uh, no. Uh, Mo I don't know what Montel's last name is. Uh, no, Mo uh, he did the, This is How We Do oh, okay. It. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't. No, that's fine. I'm, uh, I'm so white. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so but, fucking white. I apologize for how white I am. <laughs> they were like, I don't know who any of those people are. Oh, no. I told them how I met Christian Slater. They were like, I don't know who Christian Slater is. How old are these people? Are these like infants? 19. Okay. Yeah. So a few of them are 19. I think uh, most of them can't drink. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. How can you work with people who can't drink? I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it they do it. It makes me want to drink, though, every time. You're driving me to drinking. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's weird. But yeah, they're very like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything. Like, <laughs> well, It reminds me of, there was a, uh, last week, uh, there was a, a Rick and Morty. And in the beginning, it's like a bunch of terrorists take over this place. And and, um, and uh, Rick's like, just go into the vents. Do a Die Hard. Haven't you seen Die Hard? And Summer's like, I'm 17. No, I haven't seen Die Hard. And it actually turns into like a really big plot point of that episode. Yeah. But so the idea that like you have to come to grips at some point with the idea that like there's going to come a point where all the just common touchstones of your life are like old bullshit. Yeah. It'd be like it'd be like expecting anybody. It'd be like expecting people to have seen like some like it hot. Yeah. Right. Except that it's going to be that way with like um, fucking uh What's that movie with um, Clueless, right? It's going to be oh, like that yeah. with something like Clueless, where We're, you're just like, haven't you seen Clueless? And I'm like, no, I'm fucking 19. I, oh I don't, I'm God. not into oldies, this grandma. A like. while ago, <laughs> but I had a friend who was like, um, you know, Divine, the drag uh -huh. queen. Yep. And we were talking about at how Ursula was based on Divine and somebody was like, well, who's Divine? And uh -huh. they're like, she's like a really popular drag queen that was in a bunch of John Waters films. And my friend who is a drag queen was like, how do you not know? She was the mom in Hairspray. And the person we were talking to was like, John Travolta was the mom in Hairspray. <laughs> And my friend <laughs> went ballistic. Yep. No! <laughs> John Travolta was the second mom in Hairspray. I'm talking about the original movie. No, I, uh, I see, I, it's funny, though, because I can't even, like, entirely um, blame the youths for not have seen, like, Divine's a bit of a deep cut. Like, it is. not everybody's seen Pink Flamingos. And even if they had, yeah. I could see a lot of people turning off Pink Flamingos yeah. 20 minutes in. Like, Yeah, uh, oh, 100%. I was actually, like, that was a big part of the conversation he and I had later was just, like, they're not going to know who Divine. <laughs> You're going to have to get over that one. Yeah. Um, it'd be like, it'd be like, it'd be like, what do you mean you haven't seen Cecil be demented? Mm -hmm. What kind of idiot has never seen the cinematic classic yeah. Cecil be demented? Um, but I, I don't know. That always just reminds me of when I worked at the, I mean, this was like 10 years ago when I worked at uh, this warehouse. I've told this story before, but this is like officially the day that I, I knew I was old or I was getting older, right? I was aging. Yeah. The, the, the world, the times they were a change, and as uh, as uh, Mr. Bob Dylan said, uh, but 
I was working at this place, and this, we had this one young guy that worked with us. And one day he ran in excitedly, and he was like, guys, 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 I just found out that Nine Inch Nails did a cover of a Johnny Cash song. And we were all just like, we all just put our hand in our hands. And we were like, all right, come, come here. Like, just, uh, just, like, you sweet, sweet summer child. Yeah, let's, let's pull up the internet. Let's use our brains. Yeah. <laughs> let's look at some dates. Uh, John always tells me this story of a coworker he had. They all went out to the restaurant or something to eat. Yep. And... Um, Live and Let Die was playing. Uh huh. Um, Paul McCartney was yep. singing, and uh, he goes, "Ugh, who butchered the Guns N' Roses song?" <laughs> and everyone at the table was like, "No." You shut it. You <laughs> shut it the fuck up right now. I'll explain why you're lo- wrong later after I calm the fuck down. Do you want that? Does that? I don't know. Fury, Fury up. up. It's, I'm just gonna waste <laughs> it. Like, <laughs> what's the point? You know what? At this point, we've just we're like. We're just old man on the on the porch talking about kids these days. So let's wrap it up. Uh, this game seems all right, and I definitely feel like I'm gonna maybe give it a try once I don't have to talk over it. Yeah. Because I can see. You know what would be fun? Thriller. Oh yeah. If this was thriller, this would I bet would be way easier. <laughs> Does thriller have the beat, uh, the right pounding beat for that? Uh-huh. Now, 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 now. Like I don't know, but um, anyway. In the meantime, hit the like, subscribe button. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Tell me about how wrong I am. I'm cool with that. Tell me how right I am. I'm, cool. I'm even more, yeah, even cooler yeah, with that. Even like, better. People are like, oh, you're so you're so awesome and handsome and rugged. I can tell by the sound of your voice. That's how definitely manly, a comment that we've gotten. How manly and cool you are, Jeff from Rage Select. You're the manliest, cooliest, cooliest, ranchiest guy in the salad. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, patreon.com forward slash race like. I'm trying to turn it into a tossed <laughs> salad joke, but I don't know how. You're to. the clammiest at the no. jam, buddy. <laughs> You're the best clam at the jam. You're the, the best clam. <laughs> <laughs> Preacher.com forward slash rage like help us. Help, help us. Help. <laughs> uh, just kick us the bucks and get some bonus videos in return. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be the end of that. Uh, I apologize for us not passing level one in Metal Hell Singer. Yeah, we're just uh, stuck in hell. You're just stuck in hell. But With us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, come to the Discord server, get the bonus videos. John and I are playing all the way through Elden Ring. Elden Ring. It's been quite a trip so far. Nice. So, uh, yeah. And then join us back here tomorrow for another brand new video, everybody. Bye. Bye.